Hi everyone. So now we will talk about like how we can create a list in React Native. Here you can ask a question like uh, what is list and where we will use this list. So see, let's say you are working on a food application. So uh, that time you may need to create a list of restaurants or list of dishes. And let's say you are working on a college man management system. Here you can create list for uh, students, college and courses and all. And let's say you are working on an e-commerce application. There you can create a list for products and categories and all. So my point is that, so if you are working on a real time project, then there is a really high chances that you need to work with the list or you need to work with the dynamic list. And here we will learn that. So uh, in React Native to create a list, we have two options. First one is flat list. Second one is uh, selection list. So now we will talk about and learn about flat list. And in next part, we will uh, learn about selection list. So uh, even we will uh, uh, learn more things about uh, lists like how we can create list with the API and all. So uh, there is more than two videos in our complete playlist for listing and all right. So first of all, we need to create an array for users. So there we will uh, create two keys uh, with every user like username and user ID. After that, uh, we will create a list with the help of flat list. And this will not look like decent. This is just a very dull list without any style, without any color. So we will try to apply some style over there so that it will uh, look like a little bit better in case of uh, color and contrast and all. And at the last, we will cover some important interview questions also. And now we are moving on the, uh, you can say that uh, code. So this is our emulator and this is our uh, code editor. Here we will write our code. So first of all, we need to create a state or any variable. A variable is fair enough, even you can use the constant because we are not updating that list. If we will up update that list simultaneously on any button click or uh, any other way, that time we must have to take a state. Because as I mentioned you, this that will be a static list. So I'm just taking a const or variable. And the name of this is users. And here I will create an array. So I'm creating an object inside it with name let's say name is peter and id is one after that we can just copy and paste it for some time for third one for fourth one and all right four uh, items are fair enough and after that i'm putting their bruce tony and last one is let's say sam right and let let's change the id also two three and four now i am importing a flat list from react native so let me import a flat list and to use it this is a really simple uh, component right so just simply put their flat list like this so after that uh, we need to add some props to it First one, we are adding data. Data will be uh, the array that we want to uh, render with the help of uh, that flat list or you can say that in a list, right? And after that, there will be a render item. We don't need to add their comma. So just put their render item, right? And again, this will be a callback function. So with that, we need to pass the item or data or anything any uh, parameter that you want to pass there right and there you can just take any element or you can use any component like uh, even you can use the button or text or input box whatever you want to use so there i am putting simply item dot name and let me just save it and here you can see that we got the list so uh, this this is really with a tiny font size so i am just uh, adding some style uh, let's say font size is uh, 30 perfect <clears throat> okay after that uh, you can see that this is not actually look like a style there is a no background color and all so we can uh, add some style with this also so what i'm going to do there uh, style sheet and after that I'm, I need to import the style sheet from there and let's take any constant, let's say styles or style dot create. This is basically a function which will accept 
uh, a object of style right so i am putting there a item or you can use uh, any name to it like box or uh, uh, you can say that list item whatever you want to say i am just putting there item and to just apply the style there i am what i am going to do styles dot item and now let me add some style there so first of all i am simply using a font size which let's say 24 pixel after that let's say let's add there up uh, some padding also padding is let's say let's say let's say 10 right okay after that let's add the background color background color could be let's say blue and again we can add the color also because uh, back black and blue is not give any contrast so just put there white color after that let's use some margin we can use margin let's say 10 pixel and now this is look like a little bit better so after that if, if you want to add the border or something then simply add border color could be black border radius okay border width could be let's say one pixel border uh, radius could be let's say 10 and here we go so now you can see that this is a little bit decent ui even if you want to change some color contrast anything else then you can do that right so in next part we will learn that how we can just create a list with a selection list and in upcoming part again i will show you that how you can create a list uh, or you guys that the grid with the help of flat list because currently let's say we have four items and you want to just create this list from left to right not top to bottom i mean to say just create you want to create a list horizontally and once your item are completely fill up uh, your width is completely fill up then next item should be below to the complete list right so that that we can we can say that this is the uh, grid type uh, list so we will also learn that so that's all for this part uh, this part and one thing interview question first thing is uh, they can ask like how many uh, there is how many way to create a list in react native basically there is a two way even you can create some manual list also but still there is a two default way flat list and selection list second thing they can ask that uh, in flat list we are passing data the type of data will be what type of data uh, flat list is accepting so you can say that it could be a normal array or uh, array of object all right so that's all and uh, i'm requesting you to if uh, still you are not a subscriber of my channel then please subscribe uh, this channel like this video and share your feedback in comment section thank you guys